Why do I get builds like this? How can someone even just submit something so horrendous like this? Like, I don't understand why people have the need to turn M4s into pistols when you can just buy a pistol. It makes no sense. And then he did this dumbass color scheme and painted pew pistol. You're not special. You're gross. Come on, just wake up. Hold the video, 10 minutes. He did something that most people would think be atrocious and others might think it would be a good idea, but there is no reason to have a pistol mounted under your rifle as a vertical grip. You already have the rifle. What's the point of mounting your pistol there? And to think that some people actually believe this is a good idea, this guy just did it. And he's from Scotland. Is this what Scotland people do? Is this what Scotland is like for airsoft? I just, I can't. What, what is that? What, what's that on his computer? Now actually, I'm not mad at this hey, build. This goes, it's an FPG, come on, but with a Mac 10 from KWA. Wake up. Wake up, Cisco, come on. For some reason, I want to hate it. But the idea of it is pretty cool. You know, the rate of fire on the original FPG was pretty good. But a rate of fire with the Mac 10 is just Like, you just have a box and then out of nowhere you just unfold it and Now in what budget world do you need to turn M&M's minis pill bottles into an optic and a suppressor, and a vertical grip. Is that a nemesis from Classic Army? He just ruined a $400 airsoft gun. Why would he even do this? He removed the rail system? It makes no sense. Why? The amount of money that you spent on M&M's minis, he could have bought an optic and left the gun alone. But no, he did this on purpose. And for that, I'm gonna need to kill him on purpose. Wait, I can't say that. Wait, these are my thoughts. I can say whatever I want. Yeah, screw this guy. Ah, sh Baba Bowie. Here we go again. Another weeaboo degenerate high cap. Why do people feel the need to put little anime girls on their airsoft guns? What's crazy is I met the Abunai Supply guys. Fuckers? And they're really cool. But I hate them for what they've created. You guys don't get what they've turned airsoft into. Balloon. At least that side. If I could just take all of them and put them on a little island with no food and let them battle it out and eat each other until one man survives, I'll grant the last man death. Baba Bowie. Damn it, another person. I just don't get how people can waste their money on buying something expensive like a Crytac and then just putting a Polish star into it. You are literally taking out what makes the Crytac a Crytac and then you're gonna make it even more degenerate by putting a Polish star into it. What do you do with all your extra money outside of Airsoft? Hmm? I bet you have a room full of body pillows with your face on it. Wow, actually, something that is very impressive. A war buggy with two LMGs mounted onto it. The passenger LMG actually has control system inside the cab. Well, this is actually really impressive. I would like to play airsoft with this man. Hopefully I get to take a ride and use one of them LMGs that are mounted onto this. This is pretty clean and I would like Probably to- Probably the largest build we've ever done but, it was my build. What, Boaz, are you, how are you in my thoughts? Boaz, get out of my thoughts. What, how are you here? What did this, are you serious? He turned a Thor's hammer into a polar star? No way, this doesn't work. There's, no, there's absolutely no, it does. I, you know, I'm actually very impressed. I, I'm very impressed. This is actually pretty cool. 
Normally, polar stars would be very disgusting in my eyes, but this is functional. If he cosplayed a Thor on the field and used that, I'd give him a high five. You know, this is probably one of the best thoughts that I've had all day. I should give this guy a prize. You know what? I'm gonna give this guy a prize. Oh yeah, absolutely. We should totally give him a prize. Boy, let's get out of my head! A two-tone M4. I swear I've seen this. And it's a classic army nemesis. I know I've seen this before. I haven't? Wait. I swear all these two-tone M4s look alike. Just they're all becoming the same bland mayo. And you know what? I bet every two-tone M4 operator looks alike too. I bet if you put them all together, they all look the same and you couldn't tell them apart. They're like girls that are really into astrology. That, that they all just look the same. So two-tone M4 boys are the equivalent of astrology girls. I don't even know where to begin with this. It, why did I choose? I could have easily ignored this. Why did I pick this picture? What started life as an AK has turned into a voltage converter or something of that. Where's the trigger? Where's the pistol? Is it the bike brake? Is that what makes the gun fire? You know he left this in his backyard for like three years because it's rusted. To Baba Bowie. And then there's just danger on the rear. I hurt. Hey, Cisco, hey. What, what? I said that we can just start whenever you're ready. We've been sitting here for like 10 minutes. What's going on? What? Yeah, come on, man. We have to start the episode. So then all of a sudden I just started blasting it. Did you hear that? Yeah, what is that? I, I don't know. We've never opened this. O open it. Oh! 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 Guys, listen to me, okay? During my live stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm doing a giveaway, okay? A giveaway for you guys. All you have to do to enter is go to airsoftgi.com, place let's, an no, no, order of at least $20, go $20, go back. $20 go back. okay? No, I'm There's giving a, away oh, stuff. You guys can win, you guys can win right now, okay? No, no, I'm not going back in there. No, I'm not going back in there. No, no, oh, no, hey, let me out, let me out. So what are you seeing about blasting? So anyways, I just started blasting. 